Good morning. Today is the 29th day of March in this 2023rd year of our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have a cool day today. The temperatures dropped last night. Uh, I didn't have any frost, which is good. I think we may be beyond that stage, but uh, chillier temperatures today and uh, blue skies, a cool breeze blowing. Uh, another good day to be alive. <clears throat> Today, a uh, prayer by Martin Luther. Give us grace to willingly acknowledge and bear all sickness, poverty, shame, suffering, and misfortune as coming from your divine will to crucify ours. Grant that we may gladly suffer injury and guard us against seeking revenge. Let us not repay evil with evil or oppose a force with force. But let us have pleasure in your will, which permits those, these to come upon us, and let us give praise and thanks to you. When something opposes our will, let us not attribute it to the devil or wicked people, but to your will, which regulates all things, that they might hinder our will and that your kingdom may be blessed According to your will, help us not to be disobedient through impatience and despair, but to leave this life cheerfully and obediently. Help us, help that our eyes, tongue, heart, hands, feet, and bodily organs may not be left to their own inclination, but be held bound and controlled by your will. Guard us against our own stubborn, cruel, obstinate, selfish wills. Amen. From John's <clears throat> Gospel in the 14th chapter. If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. This is the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him, because he abides with you, and he will be in you. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus. The Spirit of Truth, a devotion by Martin Luther. Christians can depend on nothing except Christ, their Lord and God. For the sake of Christ, they surrender everything and declare, Before I deny or leave my Christ, I will abandon food and drink, honor and possessions, house and property, spouse and child, everything. A Christian's courage cannot be fake or weak. It must be genuine and certain. For Christians cannot encourage themselves with any temporary things on this earth. Instead, they cling only to the Lord Jesus Christ, who was crucified and died for us. So Christ will say, as he promised in this passage, Because you acknowledge me, you have this advantage and this comfort. Your courage won't mislead you, for your helper is the spirit of truth. All other courage comes from the spirit of lies, a false spirit that cannot please God. But whatever Christians do or suffer for their faith in the Lord Christ is done for the truth. They have done what is proper and right. They can boast truthfully and joyfully that what they have done is pleasing to God and the angels. Christians can feel so confident that they don't have to fear the devil or the world. They don't have to be afraid of any threat or terror. Let this encourage you, for nothing on earth can comfort you more during time of need than a confident heart. As long as your heart is plagued with uncertainty and doubts, you cannot be courageous. But if you live in truth, you can be sure that any suffering you experience isn't caused by your own sin. You're not suffering because you try to attain possessions, honor, or praise for yourself. The only charge against you is that you believe in the Lord Christ and trust in his word. 
and let us pray. Lift us up, O Lord, this day by the power of your presence that dwells within, that we might be good and true reflections of who you are to this world and be represented well in the life that we choose to live, to walk in the light of your truth. That truth, O Lord, is found in your word and in your word who is the living word, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Let us be bold enough to embrace that word and to live it the best we are able guided by your hand and your heart and your will for us to do the right thing. And when we err, O Lord, let us be repentant to turn again to you and your way is away from the lies of this world, away from the things that would elude your presence in life shown and reflected in what we say and what we do. We give you thanks, O Lord, for the blessings of salvation in Christ our Lord for the blessings of life that we live. We pray your comforting presence to abide with, with the children and the families that suffer so from gun violence in this world, and that hearts might be tempered that would take the life of others, that the hearts and minds of those in leadership might see the value of making changes in the way that we deal with each other and the way that we enable others to have those weapons that can take life so rapidly. Bring reform and change to our world, O oh Lord. Grant your presence to be with others that suffer from natural disaster, the storms of this world in all places in this country, from tornado and storms, from earthquakes in Europe and other places. Be present to still the war sabers that rattle still within many lands and nations, especially in the Ukraine, and bring about a more lasting peace. <laughs> Let harmony be our way of life, to be in sync one with another, not discordant, as this world often allures us to be. Bring your hand of healing and help in the lives of, <clears throat> of Margie and Anita, in the lives of Miriam and Tom and Nikki and Lisa, of Elaine and Billy, of Evelyn Ragg and Evelyn Tompkins, of Jenny Slick, of Linda Miller and Linda Danley, and others that we lift up to you in this moment of silence. Into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus, who taught us to pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you, to be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor, giving you his peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord this day and forevermore. A reminder to friends and members of uh, Trinity in Georgetown. We have soup and uh, sandwiches, uh, a dinner tonight at six o'clock as we have throughout Lent. Uh, we won't meet next Wednesday, but next Wednesday being Holy Week, we will have services at 6.30 on Thursday and Friday, as well as our Easter celebration. Sunday worship is always at 11 a.m. Uh, and this Sunday will be Palm Sunday. We are studying on Wednesdays the Lord's Prayer, and today's uh, text that we'll look at is, Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. God be with you throughout the day. Blessings.